vulnerable. One of the things that really struck me was the story about saying farewell to your mum and, and the difficulty of that moment. And old Harry Butler was there. Yeah. What happened? Well, I always used to, when anybody was ill, you know, and anybody wasn't well, I would used to go in and I'd think it was my job to make jokes and cheer them up. And, and um, oh, this is painful, this. But anyway, I, I was briefly in the West with Harry. My mum was very ill and I was staying with Harry Butler. And uh, he sat out in the corridor while I went in to be with mum and I was telling her jokes. And, and uh, I came out and Harry said, for Christ's sake, just tell her you love her. God. And I went, You know, and he's, he's coming. So I went in and I said, I really love you, Mum. And she was absolutely amazed. She said, do you really? And I realised I'd never told her before, you know. never told her and uh, it was just so lovely to finally thank her for everything she'd done for me in my life and the confidence she'd had in me and the making sure that I had everything that they could afford you know. Were you shocked that she didn't know you you loved her? Yeah. I think she always thought that I loved Dad better, you know. Mm. How fantastic that it, you told her. Yeah, yeah. I would. <laughs> I'm very emotional here, but I would urge anybody, um, everybody, to tell their parents how much they mean to them, you know, before it's suddenly too late. And they're not there, you know. Tell them and try and let them know what, what you mean, what they mean to you. Oh, gosh, Andrew Denton. I'm sorry to <laughs> dredge up painful things, no, but it's, it, it's lovely actually. It really struck me in your autobiography. See, all, all my life, my mother would say, um, What happened today at school? You know, and she was always, I'd say, Oh, nothing, mum, nothing. You know, she. Wouldn't wait till I was in the room, really. But what did you do today? What happened? What, how did you get on? Did, ah, nothing happened, Mum. Nothing. Then I'd go out and I'd seek out my dad and I'd say, "Gee, Dad, at school today we had 